So what kind of car do you have? That sounds expensive. Cops pulled me over. This will be interesting. Can I ask you how much that car costs? How's it going? How are you? Good, thanks. Can I see your driver's license, please? Yeah, sure. You have your registration and insurance? Yeah. What brings you to California, man? Excuse me? I said, what brings you to California? Why would that be any of your business? I'm just hanging out. Because you have a Canada driver's license? You don't have a... Where's your California driver's license? I don't live here. I give you a Canadian driver's license. So that's license. exactly what I'm trying to figure out. You're giving me smart answers, but I'm trying to get to the bottom of something. It's not a smart answer. I don't. Is. You're not. You're not customs. I don't need to explain to you why I'm here. Okay. So you need a California driver's license to drive in California. No, you don't. Are you a tourist? Yes. Okay. Do you have your passport with you? Yeah. Can I see it? Yeah. Do you have your international driver's license? Excuse me. Do you have your international driver's license? You're a cop. You should know I don't need that. I'm a Canadian citizen. You have a treaty with us. I'm going to exit the vehicle to get my passport. You actually do need it, just so you know. No, you don't. Okay, we'll find out right now. Sure. Okay, get it. Have you seen the news lately? It doesn't matter. Oh, it matters. Have you seen the news of the other U.S. officer that tried to tell a Canadian just recently? Nope. Well, you should check the news. I don't care for it. You don't care for it? No. So you don't care to do your job that's properly? That's not my business. That's, no, that's it is your job to do your do business. Me look for that. I don't care for you to question right now. So you don't care to do your job properly? I am doing pump. Get in the car. Why'd you pull me over? Your modified exhaust, the stop sign. There's just no ran. modified exhaust. Okay. And the what? Sit in the car. The the what were you about to say? The stop sign you just ran. I didn't run a stop sign. I saw you. Which one? Lomita, sit down. Which one? I just told you. You're so busy asking me questions. You're not answering my, you're not listening to my answers. I said the one on Lomita's. I didn't run any stop sign. I have everything on camera. Okay, which one? So do I. Pardon? I said so do I. Sure. Stay in the car, don't get out, man. No, I won't. Here, hold on to this. I don't want to forget it. Sign two clear by Steve. Wow, international driver's license. He obviously doesn't know what he's talking about. Hey. What'd he say? He says that we can't stand right there. Public property, isn't it? How are you doing? Great, how are you? Awesome, man. I'm allowed to film you. I didn't say you weren't. I don't know why you're shining the light on my camera then. Well, I'm just making sure I can see inside the car. And there's 11 out on the footbeat. Well, you don't need to do that by following the camera. You're very defensive, sir. Why is that? Because you pull me over and you don't know what for. I told you what for. Look at your camera. You'll, you'll be able to see what for. I didn't do anything, though. You lied about the, the stop sign. I didn't lie. And you don't understand what, it, what exhaust is on my car. Yeah, thanks. Okay. So, I'm citing you for not having a California driver's license, and I'm also citing you for having a modified exhaust. So, go ahead and sign right here, send a mission of guilt, just promise you'll take care of the citation. What's that for? I just told you. No, you didn't. What was it? Modified exhaust, right? One. Yeah. And not having a California driver's license. I don't need a California driver's license. Okay. So, can you sign here, please? And if I don't? I have to take you to jail. Really? Yeah. Is that part of the like not having a driver's That's license thing too? California. So like I said, it's not an admission of guilt. Just promising you'll take care of the citation. So with that being said, your car your car is subject to tow. What? Why? Because you're driving. You're on license in California. I can do that. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. I have a Canadian driver's license. It's not illegal to drive here with that. Okay, that's what I'm telling you. So my suggestion to you is I'm not going to tow your car. I'm letting you know that your car is subject to tow. Okay, so with that being said, I suggest that you probably go and park your car somewhere and not drive anywhere. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay, do you have any questions about it? Yeah, I just don't understand how you don't understand the law and how you're like enforcing something on me that's not legal. Okay, like I said. Yeah, it's all good. You're innocent until proven guilty, right? Yeah, for like sure. Like I said, the site, it's an admission of guilt. Just promise you'll take care of the citation. Yeah. With that being said, sir, if I see you again driving the car, I will tow it. 
You, you have no permission to tow my car. I do. No, you don't. Okay. So, I can do it now. I'm choosing not to. Okay? Yeah. So, I'm going to get into this little match with you. I'm just letting you know and yeah, I'm yeah. advising right now because I would rather not do that. <laughs> because you know you can't. I can. I mean, you can, but at the end I of the day, I'm can. right, you're wrong, but you'll still do it. I get it. Okay. So yeah, just that's playing hardball. It's all good, dude. Okay. So, like I said, if I see you again, I will tow your car, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay? You have yourself a good night. Yeah, you too, man. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna move it. I have to put my stuff back in the front, remember? Thank you, sir. Yeah, no worries. You have a good night, dude. Oh, he's just full of sh He doesn't know how to do his job. Yeah, this street. Who's his buddy? Yeah, I'd flip a U-turn too. So he told me he's gonna tow my car if he sees me again because I don't have a valid uh, California driver's license. Which is complete bull. You can drive here, right? Of course I can. Uh, where's the police department? Well, it's closed right now. There's nobody there? How do you file a complaint if you want? You can, you can walk. Yeah, we're going there right now. I'm gonna file a complaint on him. You go down two streets and it's on the right hand side. All right, bro. Got my boy in the front seat now navigating. The whole squad, by the way, they brought out the, the G four by four. But we're gonna go to the police station. All right, we're gonna park the car, take my passport, the ticket I just got, my insurance, and uh, go file a complaint on this cop who uh, is trying to threaten me with towing my vehicle because I don't have a California's driver's license when I have a Canadian one. And that's all I need based on the uh, US-Canada relationship. I just, I don't put up with this kind of stuff because uh, this is like a form of harassment, so you gotta stand up for your rights. To the Beverly Hills Police Department. 24 hour public service entrance. Intercom. Police department, can we help you? Yeah, I'd like to file a report. Uh, what is it regarding? Uh, an officer harassing me. An officer harassing you? Correct. Uh, can you be a little bit more specific? A police officer is harassing me. I have his name and I'd like to file a complaint on him. Okay. Uh, why don't you come on up? Well, is it, did this actually happen in the city of Beverly Hills? It sure did. Okay. Uh, why don't you come on up, take the elevator all the way up. Alright, here we go. Third floor. Oh. I just want to record everything. Is that what he said? Records if you want. Okay, sorry, the phones are ringing off the hook. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so tell me. Uh, I'm going to record it. Right. The best place. It's already recorded. No, 24 7. For myself. Okay, thanks. Do whatever you want. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what documentation do you have, like, as far as your ID or license or... Because you got to understand, I'm trying to recreate what you're telling me happened in the field. Yeah, valid uh, insurance and registration. So, you're visiting? I am. Okay. And you reside? In, in British Columbia, British Columbia. in Victoria, yes. Okay. And that's uh, all valid current information. Any foreign, any foreign resident that has a, uh, a foreign issued driver's license... I'm not a resident. Drive. No, I'm just saying oh, okay. they can drive, right? right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I looked it all up. I know the laws. Right. Okay, so tell me again what happened. You were stopped tonight? I was stopped tonight. The officer uh, came up, uh, told me he stopped me because of a... Modified his license. No, first he said I ran a stop sign. I said, no, I didn't. Um, I, I won't argue that. I mean, just so you know, all of our stops are recorded. Yeah, perfect. So, well, but, and he never gave me a ticket for it in the end. Uh, okay, so basically this is um, an infraction not having a valid license driving you know without a valid license that's right. what his interpretation is and you're saying 
what you're showing me is you have your Canadian driver's license. Yeah, it's well known okay. we're allowed to drive down here. You mentioned though, the concern to me is you're saying that you were threatened because, you know, as law enforcement officers, hey, I want to file a complaint. We take it seriously, right? Because of course, it goes on the officer's record. I've done it before. It, he gave you a ticket, in your opinion, which you should not have received. Correct. For, for this the, particular section. Issue but this one's through. really simple for you guys to know. Got it. Right? Okay. Like this, is, this isn't like a, we need to get into like what a Lamborghini exhaust looks like. I understand. This one's like, you guys should know. You pull over Canadians, if he's, unless he's brand new on the job, this guy's pulled over other Canadians and other foreign people, right? I understand. You got, a, you got a citation for something you should not have received. Correct. That's item one. And then the threat to take my vehicle away from me based on that citation, which doesn't exist. Okay, so the good news is that did not happen. You have your car. I have my car at the moment, but okay. I want to go for dinner in Beverly Hills and I don't want to be harassed while I'm here for the rest of my five-day visit. Got it. Okay. So then what is the desired outcome? Do you want me to speak to the officer about this? What is your end goal? What is it that you'd like to have happen? Correct. I've been through this. So... Uh, I would like a, uh, I'd like to file a complaint, mm -hmm. and I'd like the officer to be uh, educated on the international Canadian U.S. driving, whatever the legal jargon is that I can drive on this license, right. um, and I'm not to have my vehicle towed if he sees me around Beverly Hills again. Okay, can I get some of uh, this information? Absolutely, now, and then I'd, I'd I'd take all of it. Like a, I have all the time you, you know. need. All right. Thank you, and thank you for your time. Yeah. No this gentleman's really good. He's doing his job, getting all the information, all the facts. Great guy. He was very calm, yeah. Yeah, he's very good, very professional. You know, we have all these laws and rules we have to follow, and when we don't follow them, there are consequences. You get tickets and things of that nature. Uh, but when our ticket has been given out or threats have been made based upon something that is not true, uh, you have the right to stand up for yourself, so you should know that. And you can come and um, I could very easily say I don't want to file a complaint. Uh, I just want him to talk to the officer. But I have a funny feeling in this situation that if he only talks to the officer, there will be nothing on record that I was ever here and this ever happened. So I'm going to make sure I file a complaint. That way, if this does happen a second time, there will be a record of it. Uh, complaint for you. Thank you. May I have a pen, please? Uh, let me get, uh, I don't want to give you mine because then I'm going to lose it. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I'm just kind of teasing. Right? I know. That's the most important part. Sure. Okay. Um, law enforcement officers are not perfect. No, and I don't think they are. Mistakes are made. Absolutely. So an interpretation of a, a penal code or vehicle code, an honest mistake, not negligence or targeting someone. You understand what I'm saying? The more important issue to us, and I'm not um, demeaning that because obviously we want well-educated officers, so that's very important. The most important issue is the manner in which you're spoken to. The most important thing to us, if I were to prioritize them, is the customer service aspect. Correct. Do you understand what I'm saying? I get it. So to summarize, you're saying it's just you don't like how you were spoken to. Um, you felt like it was kind of this open-ended, if I see again, your car's coming with me type of thing. Correct. So he didn't specifically threaten you as an individual. It was more of this. Well, it's threatening me. It's taking my vehicle away from me when I'm trying to come to your city to have dinner. He says he knows who you are. He yeah. knows he watches your channel. He says, he says you being rude to him is not going to get him far. That's what he said in his own words. And so he's uh, taking me challenging him in a calm manner on these types of incidences oh, yeah, totally as, as, as rude. So what kind of car do you have? I have a 2016 Lamborghini Huracan. Ooh, nice. I'm not a big car guy, but I'm, that sounds expensive. It's a Lamborghini, what's the model? Huracan, H-U-R-C-A-N. H-U-R. Yeah, C-A-N. Huracan. That's how we pronounce it. It's actually H U R A. You forgot to say it's H U R A C A N. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. Okay. Great A dropout. H U R A C A N. <laughs> so this is all accurate. This corresponds to this car. It does. Okay. Can I ask you how much that car costs? No, okay. my our, my car is like the Honda Civic of supercars. Well, it's entry level. What else can we help you with? That's it. That's it. I would just like to go for dinner and not get pulled over and get my car towed tonight. Is that gonna work? Hey, or is Penny going to just try, that? Just, just try it safely, that's all I can say. I always that's do, sir. Thank you. That's yours. Thank that's you. yours. Um, do I have anything that belongs to you? I, believe I don't believe so, but I did promise to give you this back. I know, right? Right. All right, and nice meeting you. Take care. Sir, thank you. I'm okay. sorry for right. uh, the time wasted. It could be used better. No, you know what? That's my function tonight, so we're happy to help, right? Great. Thank you, sir. All right. Cheers. And there you go. Take the stairs. We have a filed complaint. Drive through Beverly Hills and see what happens. I almost want your car to get towed. So that Don't say that. I honestly just want him to not 
do stupid stuff. I personally don't want to do this. I think police officers get a bad name. I think there's a lot of good cops and I really appreciate what the officers do, such as the guys we talked to last night. I thank them for their service. I thank all of the police officers for their service because they deal with some really crummy stuff on a day-to-day -day basis. But uh, let's face it. Officer Pena actually just came up, wrote one of our friends a I take ticket. it. And he also, what did he say? He passed a message on. Oh, he said, uh, oh, he, said your friend, he said your friend's upstairs crying about something. I'm up there crying. That, that's his way of, again, intimidating and bullying me that I'm somehow, you know, that that's bullying. And thank you to the rest of the good men and women who serve my country and the United States and anybody around the world. I'm gonna go for dinner. We'll find out if Pena tows my car.